हेलो दे आर योर वॉच स्क्रीन बेज एंड आई एम योर होस्ट दिव्या पाल और इस हफ्ते हम रिव्यू करेंगे द मच अवेटेड द मच एंटिसिपेटेड इट एंड्स विद अस Now directed by Joseph Bildori the film is a adaptation of Colleen Hoover's fictionalized account of her abusive and traumatic adulthood Interestingly director Justin B he play karte hain isme bahut hi aham kirdaar that of Ryan jo ki hai Blake Lively ki character Lily ke on screen husband and of course we have Atlas that's played by Brandon Sklenar and that's Lily's former boyfriend When you invest 30 minutes into the film you understand the key relationships that matter to the film Lily is not so pleasant bond with her father her father's rude behavior towards her mother and Justin Bildoni's perception about women when he says love isn't for me lust is nice though yahi nahi sab kuch is movie mein by chance hi ho raha hai lily bloom aur rai ki pehli meeting aise hi terrace pe ho jati hai within 5 to 7 minutes of them meeting together they're on the verge of kissing each other yahi coincidence baad mein bhi hota hai jab alisa achanak se lily ki flower shop pe kaam mangne aati hai and later she turns out to be a royal sister matlab kuch bhi chal raha hai there's no back story given and of course you know that's why the viewers don't feel a connect with the characters and that's exactly when you realize that the movie's plot is very convenient and it's not able to give the key characters to invest in their relationship aur ye twist aapko aage bhi dikhai dete hain lily ki flower shop bags the 7th position on top 10 must visit places in boston and she gets married to royal बिना अपने पास ट्रॉमा को उसको बताए हुए दीज प्लॉट कन्वीनियंसेज अंडरमाइन द फिल्म सेंस ऑफ रियलिज्म हाउ एवर द मूवी फाइंड इट स्ट्रेंथ इन टैकलिंग द ग्रेव इशू ऑफ डोमेस्टिक व्यूज डिस्पाइट दिस द नैरेटिव इन एबिलिटी टू थॉरली एग्जामिन द नुआंस ऑफ ट्रामा and its repercussions result in a story that feels somewhat lacking in depth Blake Lively's character Lily Bloom is struggling with the recent death of her abusive father for whom she can't seem to feel much sorrow instead she focuses on marking her dream of opening a flower shop come true when she meets Ryan a neurosurgeon played by Justin she initially mocks his name but soon finds herself falling for him breaking down both of their emotional barriers however a chance encounter with a old flame atlas which is played by brandon sklenner brings back memories of her past and makes her realize that her current situation is darker than what she had actually imagined it to be the film uses familiar soap opera cliches but deals with its theme in a surprisingly mature way the film explores abuse in a more complex and detailed manner which might be uncomfortable for some viewers it shows how minor aggressive acts can escalate into serious abuse providing a nuanced view of such relationships Blake Lively who was impressive in Age of Adeline is bringing melodrama back in it ends with us she gives a warm natural performance and has great chemistry with her two male stars and a best friend played by the charming Jenny Slate Lively's portrayal of Lily captures a range of emotion from fear to pain Baldoni is royal while outwardly normal becomes increasingly frightening as the story progresses. Hasan Minaj who plays um, Alessa's fiance Marshall does not have much to do. Of course, for whatever screen space is given, he's natural, he brings in the fun element and you wish he was given more screen time. Now the film's most crucial lesson is that of loving your own self and knowing your own worth. While these lessons might seem a bit predictable and some darker parts could be explored more, the movie focuses on strong emotions and heartfelt moments. Our suggestion to you, well watch it, but don't expect it to be as good as the novel. 